Hi, welcome to Renata Leufen Corporation. I am Renata Leufen and today we want to look at the future of mankind and the importance of um, justice. Justice means that things are right, that everyone is getting what they should get and what is theirs. And where there is justice, there is love, because the way I see it, love is the perfection of justice, and true justice is always driven by love. And where there is justice, there is peace. There can be no peace without justice. Many of us, and perhaps you yourself, suffer because of the injustice and the injustices that have been um, done to us and committed against us. And it starts for many in childhood uh, when uh, parents neglect their children or abuse their children. Uh, then it goes on uh, across uh, the time spent in school when, when uh, people are bullied and then it carries over into adulthood when uh, people live the job life or the just uh, uh, over broke life style. Why is there no justice on earth? Because if we have a little bit of injustice on the earth then injustice is on the earth. We either have a planet where justice reigns and abounds or we have a planet with injustice and it doesn't matter how much injustice we have. Where there is injustice there is always fear and the system of injustice that has been set up on this planet operates by fear. And this fear is being kept alive by the ones who have dedicated themselves to injustice. And I believe it's right to say that there are people among us who are committed to injustice. They don't want to have justice because it would take the power away from them. Humanity will soon colonize Mars and outer space. Now, can we imagine what it means to have a mankind um, that operates um, in the mode of injustice and that goes then out to colonize Mars and, and, and outer space. Are, are, are we aware that this will lead to problems? Um, are we aware <laughs> that um, we are actually dangerous to this universe and to other um, beings and, and perhaps even other and perhaps even different human beings out there in the universe because we are still a bound society, bound by fear under injustice. Wouldn't it be wonderful and beautiful if every one of us would make a commitment to justice and say, okay, I'm in a situation I could do wrong to this or that person, I could hurt this or that person, I could take something that doesn't really belong to me. And if we would say, no, I won't do it because I have committed myself to justice. Justice is such a beautiful thing. A planet where there is justice is a planet full of love and full of peace and progress which hence to forth we haven't been able to achieve. Okay, we built airplanes and, and uh, we built skyscrapers and, and we built this and that, but true progress, true progress 
not only expressed in in business ventures, in buildings and so forth, but true progress manifested in the beauty of lives of people who live in and under justice is a dream come true. It's a dream that would enable every person on this planet to feel safe. I've made a total commitment to justice and uh, why don't you make one? Injustice means always suffering. There can be no peace where there is injustice. And actually at this moment the whole planet is crying out for justice. And I believe that not only the living are crying out for justice, but also the dead. Also the dead are crying out for justice. Life is not about power. Life is not about having power over other people. Life is about freedom. Life is about justice. Life is about love and respect and life is about peace. It is amazing that our planet is a planet of violence and where there is no peace. Noise abounds, terror abounds, fear abounds and what we're facing today is a humanity that is not free, that is actually in bondage. And it will cause problems for us and uh, for everyone else who's out there in the universe when the bound humanity embarks on the colonization of space. Now is the time to change. Now is the time to make a commitment to justice. Now is the time to make a commitment to life. There can be no true life where there is injustice. Injustice and life, life without limits, are incompatible. Every one of us has to make this decision, whether we upkeep the structures of injustice, which always means that we upkeep lies, or whether we turn around and say no and yes to justice and yes to the truth. It's in our hands today to change this planet. It's in our hands today to create a mankind that is free from this terrible bondage of fear. No one deserves to live in fear. No one should live in fear. And no one deserves injustice. Let us say no to injustice and yes to love and yes to peace. I hope you are well.